In this video, we're going to be discussing the uh, measuring function inside of Trimble Field Link. Uh, the measuring tool is located at the top left corner of the screen. It looks like a ruler. Once you select it, you have the option to select points and get the distances between them. So if I select this point here and the one right here, it shows me that the horizontal distance is 15 feet 8 and 3 uh, 3 8 inches. Uh, for the slope distance, it's 18, 4 and 3 16 um, and the reason for that is the reason the different there's a difference in change for the horizontal distance, which is the straight line distance versus the slope distance, is because there's an elevation change. So the elevation change going from uh, this point to uh, LT5 is nine feet uh, six inches. Um, so there's there's also a difference um, in the slope distance measurement versus just the horizontal distance measurement. Um, we have our delta x and delta y as well. Uh, the delta x is the uh, distance just going in the x-axis. Uh, delta y is the distance going in the y-axis. Um, and delta z is obviously the distance uh, between um, the basically point at the bottom here and the point up top here. Um, and we can also verify this by selecting the information icon and selecting our point. It tells us this point is at a zero elevation while this point here is at an elevation of 9 feet 5 inches, or I'm sorry, 9.5 feet, which is 9 feet 6 inches. Um, our next measurement is, uh, or measurement function is uh, to measure angles. So if I wanted to know what this angle was between these three points, um, I can select them and it tells me that this angle here is 63 degrees. Um, you can do this, basically you can clear out your selection by hitting the clear button and you can uh, basically go ahead and go through here and select any points and it'll give you what that um, what the angle is between them. Uh, the next option is our area option. Um, so let's say I wanted to know what the area was for uh, these selected points. Um, once you get uh, at least three points it will start to give you an area and a perimeter. Um, you can close this out and it will tell you, for example, the area of that selected, of those selected four points is 47, uh, 47.8 square feet, where the perimeter is 31 feet. Um, we can also calculate volume if we give this a depth. So if we click on the input form button, we can add a depth to our, uh, to our area. So I'll say three feet. And once I put that in, it gives me the volume uh, in yards uh, cubed. Um, our next measurement is going to be the down and out. Um, so the way this measurement works is if we select our start point going down the line to whatever our however long our line is, it doesn't really matter how far you select it. Um, we select our down and then our out. So going down this line uh, we are 12 feet, uh, 12 and 15 sixteenths, um, and then we are out 19, 5 and 3 sixteenths. Um, so that is a down and out measurement. Uh, it's very useful for when you're measuring uh, points that are basically off of a column line, um, so you can figure out exactly where those points are.